How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I decided to take a little trip on the dual sport bike. Since we haven't yet, this is the first little adventure that I've taken on the dual sport bike. So I decided to come to a secret little fishing spot near my house and uh, we're going to see if we can't catch some fish. I packed my book bag full of stuff. I'm going to switch over to some flip flops so I can wade through this water. I've got the chest mount on so we're going to get some POV fishing shots. And uh, we're just gonna have a blast. Throw a little bit of top water. It's midday right now, so I'm not too sure how the fish are gonna be biting, but we're gonna give it our best shot. So y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can't get hooked up. All right, this water is moving a lot faster than I thought, and it's a lot deeper than I thought. Please don't slip. Please don't slip. Ooh. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Jeez Louise. Those rocks are ridiculous. Let me slip. <gasps> Slippery. I almost ate it. All right, slow and steady wins the race. I think I did it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> We've made it. Just look at this. This is paradise. Absolute paradise. Well, I think we finally got everything set up. We got both rods rigged. On the spinning rod, I'm throwing just a white fluke. And then I'm gonna start out throwing just a wacky rig on the bait caster. I'm actually gonna start out with the bait caster first. And just see if we can get hit on that. I mean, just look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is paradise for fishing top water baits, some swim baits, everything. I mean, it just, it holds so many fish due to the fact that there's a dam right up above here. And usually when it's dammed up and there's not a lot of water flowing, this gets filled up with tons of fish. The fish just pull up and are stacked up in pretty big numbers. So we have all this. I'm gonna fish all the way over to the other side today and just see if we can't get hooked up. And I have in the works, a camping video that I want to do up here. So the video that I have in mind, let me know down in the comments if you think this would be cool, but I want to bring my book bag and the motorcycle over here and just whatever I can put in my book bag, that's what I camp with. I can't bring any food, so all the fish that I catch, that's pretty much what I get to eat. So whatever I find, whatever I catch, that is what I eat for the evening. That's just a little something I have in the works that I have in mind that I want to do here in the near future. So y'all let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that happen. I'm pretty much already dead set on doing this. Holy crap, that's a big carp on doing this. So we'll see how it goes. That is a giant carp. <laughs> if you guys want to see, a bow fishing video. I have some bow fishing stuff and shooting some carp over here. Let me know down in the comments also because that would be another fun video. I didn't think of that. But we're gonna give this wacky rig a try. Maybe not. All right, so since my worm got bitten off the first cast, I didn't have any more worms. So we're gonna give this a shot and just see how it does. Also, if you guys want 15% off Rio sunglasses, use code BIGTRUCK15 for 15% off your order. Link down in the description. You gotta be kidding me. He ate it. I switched up lures. I'm just throwing like this little rattle trap thingy and I actually got a hit on it. Hey, chill, I do not wanna get a hook in my hand out here. Not a giant, but as I say, it's still fun to catch. Dude, he choked it. He had every single hook in his mouth. First one. <laughs> now we can catch the bigger ones. We got the monkey off our back. Hopefully this thing's still recording. Let me check. Yep, we're still recording. And uh, that's the first fish. <laughs> All right, we fished this spot pretty good. I say let's scoot down a little bit farther and just keep working our way. Holy crap, almost died. Whoo! I'll tell you one thing, these rocks are no joke. We're hooked up, boys! <laughs> no, don't get off. Come on. Boat flip. Oh! <laughs> let's get you up here, buddy. Okay, so I switched up to my old trusty dusty friend, the curl tail grub. Chill. Dude, he's still got a whole lot of life left in him. I literally just yanked him out of the water. But I switched up to the old trusty dusty curl tail grub. You cannot go wrong with this bait. I've caught so many bass on that bait. Not a giant, but a chunky little small mouth. Still fun to catch. Check him out. Finally, finally, we've got our first decent little small mouth. Not huge, but I mean, I'm happy with them. That's so fun. That is so much fun. So I switched it up to the bait that I've caught numerous smallmouth on. It's just that green and it has a little bit of red flake and it's a curl tail grub. It's like a split shot curl tail grub. 
and uh, he choked it literally right in these little pools right here. I threw it right onto the other side and he absolutely destroyed it. Check him out, absolutely beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. <laughs> So that's the first decent fish that I've caught of the day. Switch to that little curl tail grub. So I guess that's what I'm gonna throw the rest of the evening. It's never let me down. Creek fishing, river fishing. So if you just wanna bring one pole, go out to the creek, go out to a pond, go out to a river or whatever and catch fish, the easiest thing to do is just tie on one of those curl tail grubs. So my favorite curl tail grub to throw is probably that green watermelon color with that little bit of red flake in there. It just, I mean, you hammer fish constantly and it just catches them over and over and over. It's one of those baits that you can just tie on, throw, reel it in. So if you bring your girlfriend or somebody that's new to fishing, it's one of the best baits to throw. And for people that already know how to fish, I mean, you can catch fish over and over and over because there's so many ways that you can work that bait. So we're gonna get back to throwing that. I guess I'm gonna throw that the rest of the evening since that's what's catching the fish. And we'll see if we can't yank in a couple more before we head out. Y'all stay tuned. I hope this thing's recording. I literally just tossed this in there and hooked into one as soon as I tossed it in. As soon as I tossed it in. Please be recording. Okay, we're recording now. All right. Come here, buddy. Come here. All right, we're gonna do a boat flip real quick. <laughs> Heck yes. There's number two. It's number two of the day. Dude, that is a pretty, pretty small mouth. And once again, the curl tail grub did the trick. Yes! <laughs> I'm not even kidding. As soon as I threw it out there, this fish hits it like right off the top of the water. I hadn't even hit record on my GoPro yet because I was switching spots. It was the first cast. I walked to the edge right there, tossed it in, and my line just went whoop as tight as it could be. And we had a fish on the end. That is awesome. And here we go for number two. Just a super pretty small mouth to catch. He hit it right when it hit the surface. On the double curl tail grub again. I mean, what can I say? I mean, there's literally not much to say other than here's two fish, one after another. As soon as I switched up to the curl tail grub, I started catching fish. So there's another one. We'll get a quick release on him. See if we can't catch a couple more before we head out of here. There is a freaking tank smallmouth. He followed this one all the way up. Holy crap. Holy crap. He's just circling out there. Good grief. Get off of there, buddy. All right. There's that fish. Let's see if we can catch the big one. Holy crap. Dude. That is a tank. That is a freaking giant. Oh my gosh. GoPro. All right, we're recording on that. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. We got him! We got him! Oh! Oh no! No, don't get off! No, 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 no! Chill, 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 chill! Oh! Oh! Holy crap! Oh! Oh! Oh, I got it! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Chill! Oh! Yes! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! Oh my gosh! Look at that thing! Dude! That is a slab! Is the GoPro recording? Please tell me the GoPro's recording. Dude, it's recording! Let's go! Oh my gosh, let's go, baby. I don't even know what to say. I know it's not a giant, but good grief. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh, I'm shaking. I am shaking like a leaf. Oh my Lord, thank you, Jesus. 
Oh my gosh. I literally fell in the water. Hey, before I do anything, here. This is a one take. Y'all check this out. <laughs> giant small mouth. I mean, not giant, but freaking tank of a small mouth. What is that? What is that you see? Curl tail grub. The green with the red flake. Curl tail grub. Come on now. Let me get a come on now. <laughs> what more can I say about the curl tail grub? I watched this fish follow that little one that I just caught over there. Literally right up. I cannot believe that I caught that fish. That is a freaking slab of a smallmouth. Y'all just check this fish out. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. I literally just tackled the fish up on the rock. I am soaked now, but I was not letting this fish go. Okay, so I cast it out there. I caught that little one, and then he just followed it all the way up. So I ducked down right at the rock like y'all saw. Let me get him in the water for a second. So I ducked down right at the rock and then tossed it right back out there, let it sink down. I just jerked it a couple times and I saw my line go and I was like, oh boys, here we go. And I hoped it was this fish. I didn't want it to be another small one. And I saw him jumped out and I was like, oh, I just completely freaked out. Let's get a release on this guy so he can be healthy and get back into the water. But that is such a beautiful fish. Well, I have no clue what my camera just did. It totally, I don't even know. It just totally missed the release shot. It stopped recording as soon as I lifted the fish up. Just quit recording. But at least I got that other footage of that beautiful fish. I cannot be more happy to catch a fish like that. And in the near future, that thing is gonna be an absolute giant. It definitely has the genes to be a huge, huge smallmouth. It already is a decent sized smallmouth right now. I cannot believe I caught that fish after I watched him follow up that little one that I just caught. I mean, it was just, it was crazy, absolutely insane. And what a more beautiful day just to come out here and join nature and just to be outside. So if you guys are fishermen just like me, I encourage you to take people out that have never been fishing because they will never get to experience stuff like this just because I'm sure they're a little bit scared to try to come out here by themselves and catch fish. But if you have somebody that actually knows what they're doing and uh, introduces them into fishing and all that stuff, then it's just gonna open up so many more doors to people because I'm sure there's so many people that never get to see a view like this that are just cooped up inside and they never they just never experience it so i encourage you to take somebody outdoors whether it's fishing hunting mountain biking anything like that because this is literally our own playground it's just absolutely beautiful i just couldn't be more more thankful to be able to experience stuff like this so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a huge thumbs up on this video subscribe for more content and I'm sure we're going to see you guys in the near future right in the same spot doing a little bit of camping. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.